Okay, today's little play is changing the tyre on my booster for a new one, obviously, using the Max2H.com tyre removal tool. So far, I've loosened off the bolts for the calipers, loosened off the pinch bolts just this side. I'm just going to start on doing the axle. Just hook my calipers out of the way. I'll undo the little sideways wiggle just to loosen the pads off. And then just making all this sound easy. Hang that out of the way. That'll do. Again, I've loosened it all off. I haven't been riding around with it, hanging off. You can give it a bit of a twist, get the brake pads moved. Right, that's them out of the way. As I say, I've already loosened off the two 10mm pinch bolts. Hmm. Is that copper slip? Yeah, copper slip, not rust. Right. Undo the two. Pinch bolts this side. Just open, I've got it high enough off the floor that the wheel will come out underneath the mug guard. All right, that's that two undone. A soft hammer. Right, that's as far as it would knock in with the bolt in the other side, so hopefully that will pull through. Failing enough to get something else to give it a push. Right, I only seem to want a little bit more of a tap. I'm going to use the end of my wire brush as a dowel to knock it through. So I'll yank that out, take the wheel out. So no, it won't come out underneath the mug guard, so I'm going to let the air out of it and that should just about <laughs> give me enough. Failing that, I don't know where to go. Okay, so it's very tight getting it out from there. I let it down, took the valve out, let the topper down and um, it was a very tight squeeze, so it might be fun putting it back in. but. Put it on the tire thing and I'll set all the blocks to sit on the rim so the disc is held um, in midair so it doesn't damage the disc. I've just popped the bead one side, just turning it over, do the other side. Just centers it up, so there's no movement. 
when you bring the old chopper in. And there you go. Right. So that's right off the bead now. So the next thing will be to fit this. this which I haven't tightened up yet let's tighten that up first okay so I've tightened that up and it's just hooked inside the rim and I think the next step is to <laughs> my German is nine good Lever the tyre up onto here. Okay, so I've soaked it all up. Pull that off now. Or not. Yeah, I've soaked it all up round on the wheel and that. The trouble is it's not fixed to the floor, so it's quite the thing. I've put a, one of my tyre levers right the way through to hold the wheel from turning on the frame. You should really, <laughs> this should be a point of, a point where you can actually fix the wheel. Um, but yeah, so tire iron through to stop the wheel spinning, um, soaked it all up. And now I'm just pulling it round. It started to go, so let's give it some more. So uh, next thing to do is to lever it up again onto the onto this bit the edge of this so obviously you can spin it and take it off. There you go, a bit fiddly, but it's off. So now, loads of soap. Make sure I get the new tyre around the right way and shove it back on. Right, so I've got a direction of rotation on the tyre. There, see that? You've got rotation and a small arrow pointing that way, and then on the wheel, you've got it says four tubeless and an arrow pointing that way. So, to get the rotation right. My arrow, which is there, pointing that way, lines up with that, like that. But first, loads of soap around the edge. Just 
www.wwww make sure rotation is that way is that way that went on better than expected and then we want what do we want we want the cone in there and we want this bit there and then I think it's Similar operation. Shut down a bit to start with. Bit. It's always the tightest bit, the last bit. Well, that's the tyre back on the wheel. Just double check that rotation. So just double checking. It's got the rotation mark there going that way and on the wheel it says that way so we've got well i've got that right so that is putting the tire on using the what is it max2h.com tire tool which could really seriously do with better instructions but got there and it's on marvelous just going to try and wedge it underneath the mud guard now Definitely lift it a bit higher next time. Alright, clean the spacer off and give it a bit of red grease and then re-grease the axle and start putting it all back together. Alright, so the space is cleaned and greased. more grease on the axle start putting it back together
Right, just gonna get some torque settings and then wang that in. Okay, so before I started talking it up, I filled it with air, took it up to about 60 pounds. Um, it all popped onto the rim quite nicely. All looks, looking at the edge here, looks seated properly. It's all good, looks good both sides. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. As I say, took it up to about 60 pounds, 65 pounds of pressure, just to pop it, bang it out onto its beads. Should have videoed it, didn't video it. Story of my life, bit of phlegm on the valve. No leakage there, no bubbles. The valve's good. So now, I've just got to talk it all up. So the Bible's out. Just check the torque settings and then get it done. Okay, so in the book, it's telling me to mount the brake calipers first and get the brake pads bite in the disc. for doing up the axle. So, got my torque wrench set to 39 newton meters. That's not awkward. Okay, back in business. Um, um, double check um, and still done Okay, so it's the brake calipers back on. And so we're back up to what they need to be. Now, front wheel axle, 100 newton meters. Let's wind this up a bit more. Telling me to do the axle up. Does it do the axle? I sound so confident then. I think it's do the axle up, then do the right hand side up. Uh, install the brake cabinets. Operate the brake lever to bring the pads into contact with this. Now tighten the axle axle bolt to the axle setting specified at the beginning of the chapter on, and then tighten the axle clamp on the right hand side. Right. So get that one in there on the right setting. right hand left hand <laughs> I tell you what it's fucking lucky I've got a book 
on camp on top of the right hand side. It's got to be left hand, isn't it? It's actually saying, it's actually saying, now, right, now tighten the axle, axle bolt to the torque setting specified at the beginning, which I've just done, which is 100 newton meters, and then on K8 models, which is this, is my one, onwards, tighten the right hand axle clamp bolts to the specific torque. But then down here, it says, now tighten the axle clamp bolts on the bottom of the right hand fork which you'd have already done here, so I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, it's usually the right hand one you tighten, sorry, left hand one, which clamps this, because this is more of a collar than a fucking bolt. And then move the motorcycle off its stand, apply the front brake and pump the front forks a few times to settle all components in position, and then, tighten the right hand because on um, up to K8 models you put the axle in from the other way so I'm going with left hand side what do they know right let's get this torque settings for the axle clamp bolts 23 newton meters Yeah, a little bit overkill, but it's on there. Right, get it off the stands now. And mess about with the front. Settle it all down, and then bolt the right hand clamp. I think that's suitably rocked and rolled. Do up the right hand clamp bolts. And then, and then ride it around the front of the house and give it a good wash, get all this soap off. Okay, new tyre fitted. As I say, wheel it around the front and and give it a wash because it is filthy. Loads of tree sap all over it. So there you go. My first ever tyre change, and I think it went all right. <laughs>